Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. Today is Friday, the Friday before school starts. School is starting, it is going to change how we do things. Thursday. But, oh, it's only Thursday, oh, phew. <laughs> Scratch that, it's only Thursday, but welcome to Thursday. But yesterday we bought this box of bacon. We buy this every once in a while, like maybe a couple times a year, or maybe like once every other year. We don't buy it very often. But we have a lot of recipes that the kids really enjoy with bacon in it, so I appreciate having this huge box. Uh, today, I am putting some bacon in the oven so we can have bacon and eggs once I get back from doing chores. Sophie is already back from doing her chores. She does her and Sam and her do horse chores, and then Sophie and I do goat and duck. Every day I ask when they come in, how is Chino? I ask the same question every single day. How was he? He was terrible. He was pushing me out of his stall and dragging me to the field. He didn't let me give him his medicine, but I gave it to him anyways. He was throwing his head. He had to say what he was doing today. Yeah, so today, today Chino is terrible, but terrible really means good. Dogs are wrestling. <laughs> So if you guys have been following the Chino Sega, Sega, he contracted Lyme disease probably two years ago and kind of was okay, and was pretty much okay until this past summer where we, when we introduced another horse to his herd. He felt like he needed to protect his girls. It was only him and a bunch of mares and that stress triggered this autoimmune response to the Lyme disease that was in his body and he spiraled downhill so quickly. And it has been weeks since he's been diagnosed and he's been tre being treated and he is finally this week coming around. So today is Thursday. I bet you he's had good four good days and today he dragged, tried to drag Sophie from her, from the stuff. He did drag me. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to see Chino back. Everything else went well with um no morning chores. What what happened? Um so we went to give the horses their grain and honey wasn't there. Oh. And then the door to go outside, like you know the two doors that you have to close at night. One of them was open a tiny bit. Yeah, the doors in the barn that close the area off where the horses stay, it has a little gap all the time. And honey fit through there. Oh, that is a tiny gap for her to fit through. I know, she's fat. Yeah, so she was out all night? Probably, she's gonna be fatter now. We'll have to watch the cameras and see what happened. But my guess is that she didn't go out until this morning because I saw- I was calling her and then she came from around the barn. Honestly, our dogs cannot go fight in the living room and wrestle each other in the living room. They always have to be under our feet. Point and check. Waking up every day on a farm is always going to bring things that you're not expecting and that is what we've been finding since we moved to this new bigger farm. Farming is a whole adventure and I'm we're excited to get out there and live this adventure. So I'm going to put this bacon in the oven and we're going to go. She got out at 2 in the morning. Did she come in at all? No. She probably couldn't get back in. Probably so that's an extra. The door moves out because there was a brick there and the brick held the door open. So what happened to the brick? The brick still was there, but you can't get in. So that means that well, that the the, better, uh, the baby had an extra six hours of grass last night. Yeah. And was outside alone. Yeah. With she no was protection. Fine too. Fortunately, our property is fenced in to the point where the only kind of issue she would have is she'd probably meet up with a raccoon. Literally every day since we moved here, we've been having real farm experiences. Fixing fences, fixing doors. Our animals have been putting us through the test. And every day we're having to solve new problems, but instead of thinking that is a bad thing, it's been a really eye-opening, life-affirming, teaching thing. It's been incredible. Hey chickies, don't you come out. Let's be fast. So the reason that this is kind of a problem for us is because she's had six extra hours of grass and we didn't wean her on to six extra hours of grass. So that means we need to compensate for that and reduce her grass consumption today by about the same amount of time or maybe even just a little less. It is hay day. Sam and Gabby are going to go pick up hay and Sophie and I are gonna figure out what to do with the baby. Wow, did they give you dry hay today? Not only is he feeling better and better and better, he's getting dry hay, which he absolutely loves. It's gonna give him more energy. It's gonna, it's got more sugar in it. 
It's gonna give him more energy. It's gonna fill him up faster. It's gonna fill him out faster. He's gonna gain weight faster. This has been amazing. Even watching how fast he's eating. How did he walk today? Very good. He walked fast today. Get honey's. Halter, yeah. yeah. All right, so here's the issue with honey. If she can fit through a small crack through the door, she can fit through here. Yeah, it was, it's a tiny crack in this it's door over here. In this. So Sam will work on fixing that. He'll fix that today. That's not a problem. But where are we going to put Honey today? That is going to be the problem. It's hard to put her with our horse that's recovering from Lyme disease. And that would be the first choice for us to put her in the dry paddock. But she is energetic and chases the animals so and sadly that's where the duck and goose love so sad yeah the duck and the goose are there sadly she's learning a lot from storm <laughs> about how to be a horse <laughs> okay well she's a baby and baby she is a baby and she has energy and she is just learning how to like push her weight around and stuff and that's okay we want her to have those experiences but where are we gonna put her for the next few hours? I say we try a machine out and hope that the duck and goose don't go over there. There's a chance that she could be okay being on the grass all day after being out all night, half the night. But we don't want to take any chances. The worst thing is to get Especially the fact that she's a baby. Before didn't she live on grass 24 seven? Yeah, so but before we got her, she lived on grass 24 seven, but you're right, she's not used to that now. Hi, Pen. Aw, she's so easy to catch. We could try putting her in the little in the dirt paddock because even if she eats of that hay that's out there, it's pretty much soaked, so yeah. low sugar. But her belly definitely looks bigger today. You're right about that. Once the horse is finished in this paddock, I'm hoping to get, it uh, looks like they've eaten it down really well. I'm hoping to get like another couple of weeks out of it. And I think that I will. Down there, they've really eaten it. Um, but after they're done this, we will cut all the weeds down. Sam will come out and cut all the weeds down. And then we'll open up the last pastures for the, for the horses that when will I was hopefully. I her this morning, she came trotting to me. I know. She's like, Mama. Yeah, she was probably scared outside by herself. Horses want to be with other horses. She seemed pretty happy. <laughs> so, they're all coming. <laughs> they're like, how dare you take my baby? <laughs> That's the problem with our farmyard. Honey doesn't understand that I stay there and I watch Storm <laughs> while I'm walking. And then if he starts running, I drag her to the side. She's like, why do you drag me? <laughs> you can't come in. <laughs> we actually get to stay home all oh no, we actually leave tonight for Gabby's lessons. Yeah, she definitely looks chubbier. So we're gonna try this. And hope the goats just don't go with her. And see what happens. I don't want her chasing Chino. Okay. Chino pins his ears and she runs. Oh good. I don't think you have to worry about that. All right, little Missy, you're uh, lost to the grass for a little while. Come on, come on out here. Come on. Come on, guys. Do you guys want a new friend? Yeah, okay, you want a friend, Chino? <laughs> <laughs> that was either a yes or a no, but it sounded like a no to me. <laughs> what did it sound like to you? It sounds like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> Not the baby. Oh, I cleaned up all this Look how poop yesterday. Geez. Yeah, she's pretty cute. You're locked in with the big boys now. The big boy, there's only one. So Willow is with Honey all night. So they're used to each other. It's Chino that I'm the most worried about. I'm the most worried about her like. She can't reach that. Oh, she can almost reach it. Her neck is too short. Please don't roll. You're Gracie's fine. gonna be upset. Everybody's gonna be upset. So today we have to fix a spot for the duck and the goose. Here is a video of the dynamics on our farm. These guys are noticing that there's a new little horse in the field and mama horse is over here. So uh, these guys are watching her. All the other horses are getting all worked up and upset that honey is where she is. No one gets left behind. They're a family. Did you see him look the only happy ones are these guys over here eating their hay. There is a baby horse in Machino. <laughs> Stay away from her because she does not like new people. So if you go in there, be prepared to get killed. Maybe. Honestly, they are identical little goats. We love that little brown goat so much. Alright. 
You guys know that goats are really easy to potty train. This year we won't be breeding our babies, obviously. We want them to have a good full year. We want to raise them up for a full year. I think they're traumatized. <laughs> they're traumatized. Um, we will be breeding the other two adults. Oh, she's not packing them. But we definitely want them to be bred later in the season. We want to give them a full year between breedings. No. Drama in the horse paddock again. Mama, you can you can ram her at least once. We're giving you permission. Oh my gosh, it is insane here. All right, so we're gonna go in and eat. We've done all we can this morning. Uh, we are gonna come back out in a few minutes after we're done eating, and we're gonna build a shelter for the duck and the goose, something that will protect them from predators from the sky. I have an idea. I think we're just going to put a covered area right here uh, that they can, because this is where they wanna run, to this gate. So we're gonna put a covered area here. When they run to this gate to get away from a predator, then they at least have some cover. She loves Chino. Everyone loves Chino. Everyone loves Chino. That's the thing, you guys. Everyone loves this boy. Everywhere you go, everywhere he goes, there's peace. Do you have an idea of what we can do to make a little covered area for the duck and the goose? Everyone is totally out of sorts today. All right, so I think Penny is in heat and Storm is trying to be a man. It's my only way to say it. I'm gonna have to separate Penny maybe. I don't know what the heck is happening, man. Like, today is not a good day. Oh, you guys, oh, this was awful. I just was screaming at the top of my lungs. I couldn't get in there fast enough. I don't even know how she gets in that. How did she get in there? Jumped in somehow. Oh, oh my gosh. Don't roll. All right, this is like, all of our animals are going crazy, you guys. Ellie decided to swim in the water trough. It's not even hot outside. She jumped in this water trough. I don't even know how she got in there. Oh my gosh. I just need a rest from this day. And it's four times her size, her height, five times her height. So there's no way she was gonna be able to get out of that. Thank God I was here. I've been, that's been a fear of mine for this whole time. But I saw her, I heard her splashing, and I ran. All right, so. Honey needs to go back out. All right, throw honey back out. Like literally, we can't even control our animals, they control us. So the horses all wanna be with honey, because honey's missing. So they're all squished together in this little area, and then Storm's on top of Penny, and she's terrified of Storm, sort of. So she doesn't want him too close to her, so she throws a huge fit. So hopefully all the four hours that pet Honey's been off the grass is enough to take care of her. What the heck? I just need to cry. I need to start over. I did not know how she jumped in there. there you go. All right, there you go. Everybody go. Go to the grass. I was just screaming. I need to stop that. So this is what my dog looks like right now. <laughs> Ellie, sit. This is what she looks like right now. Like, I could just cry. What if Ellie. Chino only comes in here, puts his head in the dark to sleep each day? I don't know if. We need to get a net. You know, like those nets you put on the chicken thing? Chicken wire? At the old house, the chicken net. Oh, yeah. Where would we put that? All right, so. Winter comes, this is gonna be done. Yeah. Well, once winter comes, it's gonna even become more of a problem. All right, so my idea with this is that I'm gonna put the pool back under there. And you guys know, like ducks and geese, when predators arrive, they usually go in the water because it's a place that they can save themselves. So my idea is to put the pool back under there. And they already naturally wanna to run to that area. So. My idea is that a predator from the sky isn't going to like be able to get them without landing and they don't usually land when they want to All black catch something or I mean maybe they do land but they always come from the sky come from above 
so if they can go underneath there and get safe. Right. All right, so Sophie's got a friend out here. Say hi. Hi, I'm Bread or Breadstick. <laughs> they have code names. Anyway, it's always nice to have a friend on the farm, even if they're not in person. Yeah. Elizabeth has gone somewhere. Where is she? U.S. Yeah, she's in the United States. She's in Texas. She's in, yeah, Elizabeth went away for the last half of the last part of the summer, but we're hoping to see her really soon. That's the definition. When she gets back. What do you do with the ducks when it's winter? We're going to find out. <laughs> I wanted to kind of leave all this stuff, like there's weeds and stuff here, and I wanted to kind of leave it because it offers protection for the duck and the goose if they actually need that. Here, I hope this is not going to give me false security. All right, so this is it. Ellie's already availed herself of their pool 17 times. That is not the pool. You're so silly. <laughs> That's not your pool. <laughs> oh man, you guys, I just want to cry. Ellie likes it. Oh my gosh. What is it? A skull of what? Oh my gosh. The day is never getting better.